Hey guys, this is a reply for Moods 616 contest, and it's going to be titled... Alright, so my top 20 horror movies. I've been wanting to make a little list like this for a while, and Moods uh, finally put me up to it. So, here we go. The first 10, it's going to be 20 through 10, and the first 10 are probably a little bit interchangeable. The deeper we get into the list, it's more of my serious favorite horror movies. If you think a couple of these movies aren't quite horror movies, don't get mad, please. <laughs> no big deal, okay? Uh, it's just my personal list. Uh, I'm sure you'd be happy with the top ten, though. So, because I want to make these videos kind of short, let's get started right away. And make sure you check out Moods' channel. Okay, Moods 616. I'm going to put an annotation and leave it on the video. All right, so number 20 is going to be Brotherhood of the Wolf. French movie, martial arts, creatures... Slightly horror, slightly action. Okay, number 19, Blade 2. Better than Blade 1 in my opinion, Guillermo del Toro. Um, you got your vampires, you got your action, you got Wesley Snipes hacking people up. You got plenty of blood in this movie. So um, for you guys that don't think it's a horror movie, there's some pretty horrible blood. Okay, that didn't sound right. All right, number 18, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1978. Donald Pleasance. Oh, oh, scares me every time I see it. All these movies I've seen more than once. That one I've seen a few times. Okay, number 17 is the first one from John Carpenter on this list, but there's going to be a few. It's Christine. The crazy car kills everybody, attacks the high school students. Lots of cool old rock and roll music in this one. One of my favorites. I've watched it a million times. Okay, number 16, another John Carpenter one. Prince of Darkness. I don't know, something about this movie, I just always, when I watch it, I think it's so much ahead of its time. Um, the flash forward in the dreams, like the found footage type thing going on in that, and it's just a good scary movie. Hopefully they never remake it. Okay, number 15 is going to be Ring You or Ring, the Japanese version, the original. I bought this at a convention before it was released in America a long time ago. Scared the bejesus out of me. The beginning of the movie is kind of boring, but at the end it scared the bejesus out of me. And for like three weeks after, my wife would scare me by putting her black hair in her face and creeping around the house and uh, not saying anything to me. So, all right. Number 14, and this one's kind of the only comedy-ish sort of one on the list. Uh, comedy horror, not a big fan of, but uh, I had this one on this Halloween. It's The Return of the Living Dead. Just a classic zombie. You know, I'm a zombie guy, so... This one's just a classic. Like I said, I was watching it again this Halloween, uh, trying to kind of get my kids into it, even though they're a little young. Don't call the uh, parental control on me. Okay. Uh, all right, number 13. Some people might not consider the, this the greatest horror movie or even a zombie movie, but 28 Days Later, um, Danny Boyle, awesome director. He went on to you know direct Slumdog Millionaire, all this stuff, which I haven't seen Slumdog Millionaire, but... Between 28 Days Later, Train Spotting, and his movie Sunshine, you know, he's obviously a good director. Um, 28 Days Later, Fast Zombies, The Invention. All right, number 12 is going to be the first James Cameron movie on this list, and it's Aliens, the sequel to the original Alien. And Aliens is another one. It's not 100% horror, but I watched this movie so many times, saw it in the theaters. Loved it. I've always loved it. Every time I watch it, just love it. Lance Hendrickson. What can you, Bill Paxton. And they'll be making an appearance on this list again. But uh, awesome movie, Aliens, man. All right. And number 11. We're back at Bill Paxton and Lance Hendrickson again. The only vampire movie on this list. It's going to be Near Dark. And I heard they're remaking this one. I hope not. Near Dark is my favorite vampire movie. Just always liked it. I don't know. Something about it. Lance Hendrickson's a badass in that one. Okay. So we're into the top ten now. And like I said, these are going to be the ones that are pretty much in stone, I think. Um, they could change, but okay. Ten through one. Number ten is going to be Session Nine. Brad Anderson movie. It's got that red-haired guy. can't think of his name right now from CSI Miami. But I don't like him, but I really like this movie. When the voice on this movie comes out, I watched it a few times, and every time, it literally sends shivers up my spine. There's these tape recordings the guys find, and when the guy listens to it, I don't know, for some reason, shivers up the spine. All right, number nine, 
the only Rob Zombie movie on this list, The Devil's Reject. It's kind of like his best movie in my opinion. Um, I forgot what critics said it, but it's like the Terminator of horror films, and I agree 100%. I've watched this movie quite a few times. Awesome film. Number eight. Uh, and some people, you know, they don't probably think of it too much as a horror movie, but uh, Silence of the Lambs. One of the best horror villains ever. Anthony Hopkins, Hannibal Lecter. So, um, I work in a psych hospital, so obviously I like Silence of the Lambs. Jesus Christ. Okay, number seven. The only movie I ever shut off because I was actually scared, but I was kind of high at the time. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Just the part when the girl stuck in the dinner table at the end with all the wood, the bone furniture, and they're terrorizing her. Had to shut it off. It was creeping me out too much. Of course, I went back and I've watched it a million times, but had to shut that one off one time. So it has to be on this list. Okay, number six. And by the way, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake and all those other ones. Nothing compared to the original, man. Nothing compared to the original. All right. Number six, a movie I watch at least every couple years. The Thing, the John Carpenter version, Kurt Russell, Snow. The remake or whatever, the prequel or whatever was pretty good, but nothing touches the original remake, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's pretty much an original movie. The Thing, 1982, Kurt Russell in the Snow, Paranoia. The effects still hold up pretty decent. They're a little cheesy, but classic. I love it. And number five, I've actually done a video review of this movie. I probably one day will do one of all these movies, but uh, number five, David Cronenberg. Uh, I could put a bunch of his movies on this list, but number five is going to be Scanners. Head exploding. Best sci-fi horror ahead of its time by far, you know, kind of like a superhero movie way before its time. I mean, the guy freaking takes over a computer via phone, you know, and this is like super early 80s, whatever. I think it's, I'm not 100% sure of the date, but way before computers were, you know, people were thinking about them. All right, number four in, this is going to be on probably everybody's list, uh, Halloween, the original one, of course. There's only one slasher in my book that I like, and it's the original Michael Myers, so... Call me generic, but uh, even the kids know this one at four years old. So this one's a family classic. All right, number three, and I hope Prometheus makes it on this list at some point in the future, but number three is going to be the original Alien. Horror, sci-fi, doesn't get much better than this movie. I'm going out of focus. All right, so Alien, number three. And the... Top three movies here are pretty much in stone. The top two movies are definitely in stone. Uh, if you were to ask me my favorite movie, it's going to be the number two on this list of all time. But since it's a horror list, it comes in number two. Number two is going to be The Terminator. I know some of you guys are going to say it's not really a horror movie. It's more like a sci-fi movie, but that's a fucking killer robot, okay? so And he cuts his art into his arm and kills a bunch of people with shotguns. And he's a killer robot, so that's enough to make it a horror movie for me. It's my favorite movie of all time because this is a horror movie list. It's number two, okay? And numero uno, give it a drum roll. Hope you guys aren't pissed off yet and you made it this far. Number one movie of all time, best horror movie forever. I don't think anything's ever going to dethrone this one. If anybody who knows me is watching this video, they already know what it is, but it's the original Dawn of the Dead. You can see my symbol on YouTube is Steven from Dawn of the Dead. My favorite zombie of all time is Steven, biting on the wall. <laughs> awesome stuff, comes out of the elevator. The mall, never be replicated. The best ever, hands down, zombie movie. Best zombie movie, best horror movie, best George Romero movie. Blah, blah, on and on and on. It takes the number one prize. And one of the only movies I've actually watched the director commentary on. I usually don't watch that stuff. As you can see, I'm not standing in front of like 10,000 DVDs. I watch a ton of horror movies, but I just don't buy that many DVDs. So, all right, guys, that's my list. I'm going to put it down in the description box in numerical order. Um, remember, check out Moods 616 channel. So, thanks for letting me do this and provoking me to. Thanks, Moods.